Next, we're going to continue to celebrate Buffalo's black history and the legacy and legends when it comes to the vibrant art scene. Kelly Duzik introduces us to Julia Bottoms, who is really celebrating Buffalo icons. We're at the Freedom Wall. Um, basically, it's an amazing public piece of art um, that really kind of talks about the history of not only national black figures, but also local figures, which is something that I think really makes it special for Buffalo. We caught up with artist Julia Bottoms at the quarter of Michigan and East Ferry, where she helped create the Freedom Wall in 2017. And I think for Black History Month, it's especially significant because we think of the really big names like Rosa Parks and Dr. King, which are on the wall, but it's important also to honor the local legends as well, like Arthur Reeve and Miss Eva Doyle and just all the amazing people that have helped to contribute to Buffalo. Bottoms has contributed immensely to Buffalo's public art scene with murals across the city. Well, museums are wonderful, of course, but I think there should always be a part of it that's available to everybody and for people to kind of walk in and feel at home. Um, I think that's a reservation a lot of times for people. They can be intimidated by the idea of walking into a space that's like traditional uh, and you kind of miss out in that sense. So I think public art is a great kind of branch to help people get excited about art and even when it's in communities, kind of claim it for yourself. Her next big splash will be made at a museum, the Buffalo AKG, next month. I feel really fortunate. There's been so many organizations that have really just stepped into my corner and said, we trust you, we support you, we believe in your vision. Um, even with an exhibition that is opening next month on the 8th at the Buffalo AKG, uh, you know, they really trusted me and Tiffany Gaines and Jillian Hainsworth, who are my co-creators on this, uh, to just be able to really do our own thing. She's also working on a new sculpture to honor Shirley Chisholm's legacy. It's going to end up going right at her final resting place in Forest Lawn. Um, what's been amazing about that is just having ventured into sculpture, that was really my first time doing a sculpture of that scale. And to just be trusted and to, you know, really do all this research on Shirley and get to know, you know, what her, not only what her contribution was, but how she has this connection to Buffalo, I think really helped me connect with the work itself. And I'm really excited to have it move into that next phase. And while Bottom says a lot of attention is paid to the figures and icons on this wall, I want to remind the community that black history is American history and it's, you know, part of all of our shared story. So my big encouragement to educators and just to the community in general is to really reframe the idea of black history and take it out of just a single month. Think about, you know, who are these figures? Even if you only cover one a month with your kids, it's really important to acknowledge that shared history. And I'm actually working on a children's book uh, that eventually I'm hoping I can provide for free to a lot of places uh, to kind of work on that and go month by month and say, you know, even if it's just one figure, it's part of our shared story.